Part 3 Head, Neck, and Shoulders Muscles In this video, you will discover the muscle anatomy of the human head, neck, and shoulders. We will use the previous watercolor tinted sketch to overlay the head, neck, and shoulder muscles. A red pencil will be used for that purpose. Not in any particular order. Let us begin with the head muscles. In the inner corners of the eyes, there is a pair of muscles that travel upward toward the eyebrows. Nearby, there is another pair of muscles, where fibers lie more diagonally. These two pairs of muscles contract the eyebrows, bringing them closer together. This is an expression of anger, annoyance, or intense concentration. The forehead is covered by a flat and wide muscle called the frontalis. In fact, it is the front portion of quite a large muscle that covers the entire top and back section of the skull. The frontalis can elevate the eyebrows, forming horizontal wrinkles on the forehead, an expression of disbelief or surprise. A human eye, mechanically, works like the lenses of a photo camera. The focus changes by adjusting the distance between the lens and the light-sensitive wall of the eye. Inside the eye socket, there are four cross-shaped muscles that grip the eyeball, shortening the focus distance. There are also two additional muscles that are located in a circle and squeeze the eyeball, making this distance longer. These muscles do not influence the appearance of the human head and is described here for your general knowledge. Around the eye, there is a disc-shaped muscle called the orbicularis oculi. It surrounds the eyeball, including the eyelids. Eyelids have a very thin skin. Nevertheless, they have a thickness that needs to be depicted in a portrait to allow an eye to look realistic. The larger portion of this muscle squeezes the eye shut, causing wrinkles at the eye's outer corner. The portion of this muscle that lies inside the eyelid gently closes and opens the eyelid, a motion known as blinking. 